हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर चैनल सिंप्लीफाइड कंप्यूटर साइंस कंसेप्ट्स बाय प्रोफेसर ऋतुजा टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग एसक्यूएल न्यूमेरिक फंक्शंस सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द न्यूमेरिक फंक्शंस इन एसक्यूएल सो दिस न्यूमेरिक फंक्शंस आर यूज्ड टू परफॉर्म ऑपरेशंस ऑन द नंबर्स एंड द रिटर्न नंबर इटसेल्फ सो व्हिच आर द वेरियस फंक्शंस दैट वी विल बी लर्निंग सो दे आर एब्सोल्यूट फंक्शन पावर फंक्शन सील फंक्शन फ्लोर राउंड ट्रंकेट एस क्यू आर टी दैट इज स्क्वायर रूट मॉर मॉड्यूलस एक्सपोनशियल साइन एंड रैंडम फंक्शन वी विल बी लर्निंग वन बाय वन इन डिटेल सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद द एब्सोल्यूट फंक्शन सो दिस एब्सोल्यूट फंक्शन रिटर्न द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ द नंबर विच इज गिवन एज एन एक्सप्रेशन सो द सेंटेक्स गोज लाइक दिस सिलेक्ट ए बी एस नंबर सो विच एवर नंबर यू गिव एज द parameter to the function will be converted into the absolute value of that number so here let us first try and give the positive number so if i give the positive number as the expression to the absolute function it will return the positive number itself the answer will be 369.33 the number itself because it is a positive number but then if i now give the negative number to the absolute function it will return the positive function so the output of this that is minus 369.33 it is a negative number it returns the positive number itself then the next function is the power function power function is uh the function which returns the value of a number raised to the power of another number so if i want to find find out 2 raised to power of 3 in that case we can use power function not only 2 raised to power of 3 any number so the basic uh, is select power base exponent so let us look uh, this by one example so if i write select power two parameters are there that is one is base other one is exponent that means 6 raised to the power of 3 6 into 6 36 36 into 6 is 216 so the output of this particular query is 216 let us go to the next one So if I here I am giving the exponent as minus three, so six to the uh, power minus three uh, gives us zero point zero zero four six. Now if I give the exponent as zero, so what it will be six raised to anything or anything raised to zero gives the value as one. So here six raised to zero is one. Then comes seal function. So this seal function. returns the next integer value that is bigger than or equal to a number so the syntax is select seal number now here let us look at the first example if i write select seal and the number that is 369.33 now which is the next integer uh, which is bigger than 369 it is 370 that means the idea uh, the output of this 370 then let us go to the next example that is minus 369.33 it have values uh, uh it is like uh, the bigger number uh, the next bigger number of minus 369 is minus uh, 369 itself that is uh, bigger than minus 369.33 then comes the third example wherein the in the number which is given as the input is the whole number or the integer itself so here the output will be that number itself then comes the floor function so this floor function returns the previous integer value that is smaller than or equal to the number so here the syntax is select floor number now here uh, select floor if i am giving the expression as the number what it will return it will return the previous integer value so what is the previous integer value of 369 Point three three. It is three sixty nine. Then let us go to the next one. That is minus three sixty nine point three three. So what is the previous integer value which is smaller than three minus three sixty nine minus three seventy? So it will return minus three seventy. Then uh, the select uh, if I give the whole number as the uh, input to the floor function, it will give the same number. itself so it will return minus 3 uh, it will return only 369 because the number we have provided is the integer then comes the round function 
so round is nothing but uh, it will uh, in day to day life we might use the rounding off function or we can call round off so the similar uh, uh, functionality is used for round off uh, round function so here it rounds a number of, a number to a specified number of decimal places uh, there are two parameters that will be given that is number and decimals so the syntax is select round number decimals so if i uh, i'm if we write select round 369.339, 2 2 means two decimal places so we will consider after the decimal only two places that is 33 three. Now let us see uh, after 3 what is there 9 which is greater than 5 which means the next value uh, we have to write only 2 digits after the decimal and that will be 369.34. Now why so because the third digit after the 33 is 9 which is greater than 5. So Automatically it will convert the second digit to the next one that is 4. The second example is here. The number that is given as input is 3 decimal places that we need to consider is 1. That means we will consider only till here that is 369.3. But then the next integer, uh, 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 the next decimal value is 3 which is less than 5 which means that it will remain as it is. That means the answer will be 369.3. Then if I write uh, 369.339, 0. 0 means decimal places that means there is no decimal places that we need to consider so here the output will be 369 itself that means the integer values no decimal points are considered because the decimal value is 0 then comes truncate function truncate function will return a number to the specified number of the decimal places now here the syntax is select truncate the number and decimal places to truncate now let us understand with the help of example. So here I am writing a query select truncate 369.339 comma 1. 1 means only 1 till only 1 place I need to display the number. That means after decimal that that means 369.3 will be the answer. If I would have written here 2 then in that case the answer would be 369.33. That means after decimal, how much, how many uh, decimal points I need to consider and display the answer uh, uh, is specified by the second parameter in the truncate function. Then comes the next example that is 369.339,0 which again means 0 means uh, no uh, decimal places uh, uh, to consider. So here it will display 369. Then the square root function. The square root function will return the square root of a number. So here the square root of 81. How it we will write? Select SQRT and the number. So here uh, we have given the number as 81. Select square root 81 which gives us the output as 9. Let us see one more example wherein I have given 369 as an input uh, to the square root function and give it gives the output as 19.20. Then comes mod function. So this mod function will return the modulus value that means the remainder of the uh, uh, division that we have performed. So here the example, uh, the syntax is select dividend mod divisor or select dividend percentage divisor. Both will perform in the same manner. So here if I write select 81 mod 8 which what is the remainder of this? 8 times are 80 and so here the Quotient is 10 and the remainder is 1. So the answer would be 1. In the similar manner we can also write it by uh, 81 uh, modulus 8 and it will result, uh, it will uh, revert the answer as 1 itself. So this is mod function. Exponential function uh, is the function which returns e raised to the power of to the specified number wherein e is always considered as a constant value that is 2.718281. Now here the syntax is select exponential and the uh, number is passed as an argument. So here if I want to uh, find the exponential value of 5 so it means that e raised to 5. So and what is the value of e? e, e is 2.718281. 281 raised to the power of 5 which gives us the answer as 148.413. Similar manner 
if i am uh, i can even give this uh, exponential uh, value as uh, in the neg as a negative number so here here exponential uh, e raised to my power of minus 5 will give us answer as 0 0.0067 then comes the, la uh, the, uh, the function that is sine function si signature if you might have studied in the earlier classes wherein um, uh, you might have understand understood that anything uh, greater than 0 is always a positive number less than 0 is a negative number and if the number is equal to 0 that means it should uh, return 0 so in uh, Dell or maybe in microprocessor you might have studied this sign flags so this uh, if the number is positive we denote it by 1 and if the number is negative we denote it by minus 1 so in the similar manner if I am if you want to know the uh, uh, signature uh, sign of that particular number we have to just pass that number to the function sign so here the number is positive so it will return 1 because the number is positive but then if I write minus 369.339 it will rev uh, it will uh, revert minus 1 because it is a negative number and if I write uh, the number or if I give the input as 0 then it will give the answer as 0 itself so this is the sine function and the last function is the random function which is used to return the random numbers so every time I generate this function uh, it will produce the random numbers so syntax is select ran and the parenthesis semicolon so here uh, first time when I uh, run this query it will generate any random value the next time I run, generate uh, or next time I run this function, it will again generate any random value. So, this is a random function. So, I hope I, you have uh, watched this video and you have uh, got the concepts clear about the numeric functions. If you have any doubts, you can please do comment in the co um, comment box. And please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day ahead.